How's it everybody? Nice cartoon here. It is a bit difficult to read. I'm really sorry. I enlarged as much as I could. So what it says here in frame one, I really hated last week's load shedding. So typical Madam and Eve cartoon here. I couldn't watch TV. I couldn't recharge my phone. I couldn't play games, text my friends or use Snapchat and Instagram. Yeah, very much South African problem here. What if it happens again? How am I supposed to amuse myself or whole four hours and now madam replies uh what about doing what i did at your age use your own imagination my imagination are you crazy i haven't used that in years all the parts are rusted okay so that's the, the humor coming out i'm too used to apps supplying passive brain stimulation created by large entertainment conglomerates so i don't have to use my imagination <laughs> it's very funny Using your imagination is like riding a bike. It'll come back to you. Like riding a bike? Who rides a bike? These days, I play motor racer on Android. So just about how technology is uh, replacing, you know, Madam's uh, childhood pastimes. And uh, her daughter is part of this whole new tech age. And Madam's like, oh, just give it a try. You know, when I was your age, I was doing all of that. And Eve is like, nope, I can't do this. Like, I need tech. I need... All of this stuff. Okay, fine. I'll try. Hmm. Gasp. Anything coming? Yet? Nope. Wait. It's working. I've rebooted my imagination. So something to do with tech. Good. What are you imagining? Oh, I'm imagining that I'm playing Candy Crush and I'm winning. So not imagining, you know, like having fun, like imaginary friends and all of that. No, I'm imagining that, oh, I'm actually playing Candy Crush and I can't play it right now because there's load shedding and I don't have, you know, Wi-Fi. I can't charge my devices, whatever, whatever. So I'm imagining that I can. And then uh, Madam's like, yep, yeah, it's hopeless. It's a lost cause. So yeah, that is the humor and everything. Not very funny, very dry humor, but yeah, just a more like social contemporary kind of issue here. The whole tech age, you know, iPad kids, all of that. 4.1, uh, refer to frame one. What does Mother Anderson's body language convey about her attitude toward Tandy? So the old lady here is Mother Anderson. The young girl is going to be Tandy. I was just calling them Madam and Eve. I didn't even bother to read all the way through, but yeah, it was the young girl and the mother. Sorry if I confused you a little bit, but yeah, it's really much of a muchness. Okay, so her her body language. So she's just, she's remaining seated with the newspaper in front of her face and she's disinterested. She's very nonchalant, quite uninterested of... Tandy's whole ordeal. Oh no, there's load shedding. Okay, yeah, I feel your pain. So bad, so bad. So she doesn't really care, you know, she's rather uninterested here. 4.2, refer to frames three and five. Comment on Tandy's responses to Mother Anderson in these frames. So in frame three over here, Tandy is surprised, outrage, when Mother Anderson suggests that she use her imagination. She just, yeah, she's dumbfounded by it. In frame five, she asserts that she does not need to use her imagination as the apps designed by large companies, they actually do it for her. Like, I don't need to use my own brain power. Like, they, they just do it for me now, you know, the age of information. And Tanya's just, she's completely oblivious to the power of imagination, uh, preferring the conditioning of the entertainment app. In 4.3, discuss how humor is created in frame 10. So if we just look at frame 10 here, there is some kind of humor. Now, the humor is conveyed here when Mother Anderson thinks she has convinced Tandy to use her imagination, um, only to find that in the last frame that, ironically, Tandy's imagination is being used to cope with her technology addiction. And as you can see here, Mother Anderson, oh, it's hopeless. She appears to be defeated. She returns to her position behind the newspaper without any kind of verbal engagement as she realizes that it's impossible to, to change Tandy's mindset. She's, uh, she's fighting a lost cause, almost. Um, if we just refer to frame four, like let's go back, here's frame four. Uh, what is the expression, all the parts are rusted mean uh, in the context of the cartoon? So it means that she's just unable to use her imagination. Like, her imagination is in a state of disuse, you know, it's it's corroding. Yeah, she hasn't used it in a really long time. And 4.5, the word apps, Android, and rebooted. Um, these are examples of, it's not an acronym, okay? it's not a short form for everything. Could be jargon, not a colloquialism, it's not slang, uh, it's not a malapropism, you know, like specific ocean. No, it's going to be jargon. Uh, you know, jargon is like, you know, specific to the industry kind of words. Like I played this game called Pickleball. We use words like uh, dinking and Ernie and body bag and stuff like that. So yeah, it's all specific to Pickleball. But yeah, terrible mistake there calling them Adam and Eve. Sorry, I just, I gave them my own names without even looking forward. So yeah, little mistake there happens to the best of us. But yeah, that's going to be in the glossary 
uh, and characters. So if you don't know what Candy Crush was, maybe you do live in, under a rock, but it is a, it's a gaming application. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye.